Welcome back to our episode 4 Clinician's Path to Leadership with Dr. Praveen Kumar in our podcast series Health Insights with ex global experts. Here we will dive into the world of healthcare with some brightest minds in the industry. I am your host Dr. Ashwita and today we have a very special guest with us Ms Dr. Praveen Kumar he is a professor and head of division of neonatology at PGIMER Chandigarh welcome to the show sir sir my first question to you would be like can you tell us about your journey to becoming the head of division of neonatology and what were the key experiences and influences that shaped your leadership style as a clinician i must say i think i have been very lucky because i got my training of my career at two of the most uh, you know very good institution in the country all india institute of medical sciences delhi and then the pgi chandigarh yes. and then i had the opportunity to work in two of the best centers in canada in university of calgary and toronto uh, which uh, broadened my horizons uh, and in these two indian institutions i was exposed to some of the top stalwarts in my field of neonatal medicine who have been legends so it was under their tutelage and under their kind of umbrella that i could visualize and see how they went about their work ensuring that they involve everyone as a team with a very honest open atmosphere you know collaborating every, with everyone including everyone uh ensuring that nurses and everybody else is part of the team and with always a focus on the patient so i must admit uh, that has been a great factor in you know building my approach uh, as gradually i have kind of progressed in my career Uh, so sir my next question is regarding your uh, neonatology uh, neonatal care often involves multidisciplinary uh, approach how do you foster collaboration and leadership within these teams to ensure the best outcome for the newborns yeah so i think again uh, i have seen examples right from my formative years in our own tr- training institutes uh that nurses for example were always central to the team uh and for newborn especially i think nurse is a kind of uh, surrogate mother because she has to do not only nursing task but also act like a mother for the baby uh so our units have been very very strong in ensuring and promoting nurse empowerment uh, nurse training and nurse leadership uh the second uh, kind of uh, collaborating uh, team or uh, discipline have been the obstetrics because all newborns ultimately come from the mother yes. so maternal care is a strong determinant of newborn outcome so traditionally we have had very close relationship with obstetric colleagues in various forms so for example we do a weekly clinical perinatal meeting we do a monthly perinatal audit and then we have also have an informal monthly what we call a chai pe charcha you know maybe discussing common problems and trying to solve in a friendly manner so unlike many places where obstetrics and neonatology often have kind of a struggle to work with each other i think we have had a very very well oiled close collaborative system uh over the years as neonatology has advanced we obviously had the requirement and need for other uh, allied disciplines for example uh, the eye surgeons for screening the eyes you know the psychologists for their developmental assessment uh, nutritionists for ensuring their nutrition physiotherapists for ensuring their developmental care 
So over the years, as we have evolved, I think we are truly in a multidisciplinary organization. Uh, I can think of another example is biomedical engineers because whole neonatal care is very technology intensive. And we have collaborated with biomedical engineers right from the beginning uh, when even the good equipment was not available. So our biomedical engineers with our ideas helped us develop low cost equipment which could be utilized to provide optimal care. Uh, and I'm glad that today this is well recognized and this is a well kind of accepted concept that neonatal care is a broad discipline which involves multiple disciplines and on the center of it is the family and the mother. Sir, uh, you were instrumental in producing the first ever evidence-based clinical practice guidance for newborns in India. How do you balance the demand of your clinical practice with the research need and the guideline development? Yeah, I have to admit this is a very stressful you know, activity simply because of the excessive patient load or workload we have in our hospitals. Uh, so it becomes very difficult. But again, I have been very lucky to work in these two top institutions where it has been a tradition and it's still a culture that everybody will go an extra mile and, you know, spend time or give extra time for research and, uh, you know, <laughs> teaching and education training. And I think ultimately it helps in improving the quality of care because if you have a continuous update in skills and knowledge, uh, if you train people from the referring institutions, then it ultimately should help us only to get patients in a better shape. And so whenever we bring the patient in focus, we know, okay, research has been done, has to be done so that patient care can improve. Uh, so I think this has been a lucky, I would say, and it gives a lot of internal satisfaction ultimately. And sir, you have uh, trained many neonatologists and nurses across multiple countries. How do you approach mentorship and training to develop the future leaders? in neonatology? I think over the years what we have realized that uh, skill training or skill imparting is one part because knowledge is available in abundance. People can read books, journals and these days with online resources being uh, available in plenty. Uh, so people have knowledge. So I hate actually trying to give lectures and all. What I like is small group discussions, workshops where, the, where people do hands-on training uh, so that they can actually translate the you know, knowledge into real practice. That is one. Uh, the second thing we realized is that technical skills is one part, but the bigger lacunae and what is required for our healthcare people is the soft skills. You know, whether it's communication, whether it's organization of work, whether it's time management, whether it's people management. And uh, so these managerial skills are actually what are more critical these days. And in all our trainings, we like to blend, you know, the skill as well as the soft skills together to make it interesting as well as more kind of rewarding. Uh, we always try to help our learners identify their goals and then try to facilitate their pathways to achieving those goals and simply keep them motivated and you know support them as we go along. And we try not to have only one-time contact, but an ongoing kind of supportive supervision we try to do. I think that works very well. Thank you, sir. Uh, if you have a message for our future doctors, please be, feel free to share. Yeah. So I think uh, the current generation is lucky because of the availability of technology. So access to knowledge has become very easy compared to the olden times. Uh, access to training and skills also has become rel relatively easier now with the upcoming skill centers and several workshops. Uh, but what the young generation needs to focus on is definitely acquiring and practicing uh, the softer skills, whether it is time management, whether it's leadership skills, uh, how to deal with people, 
you know uh, because that will make their work more efficient more rewarding and will actually allow them to have a better work life balance uh, and i think that can only come by practice and you know looking forward to these kind of training sessions uh, so this is would be my message to them thank you thank you so much sir for your wonderful experiences and your insights it was amazing to hear from you and for the listeners thank you for tuning in to health frontiers insights from global experts for the next episodes we bring you the latest healthcare innovations and leadership until next time stay healthy stay informed thank you thank you so much thank you